Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What a show Walker Mania Backlash was, dude. That was an insane show. We have so many things to kick off the night. To kick off? No, there's only one thing to kick off the night. We have so many things on tap tonight. The Swerve Offs. The new tag team, the Swerve Offs, are in action late against the New Day. Our main event, AJ Styles versus, uh, versus John Cena. Just a little warm-up for AJ Styles, and let's just hope Cena doesn't win that match. Uh, but also, to kick things off, to kick the whole show off, we're already going to determine who's going to be the number one contender for the women's championship. Hell in a Cell is on June 5th. We're going to find out who's going to face Liv Morgan at that show inside Hell in a Cell, and we're going to find out right now. We're having an eight-woman elimination match. Let's find out who the eight women are. It's an open challenge. Anyone can go. Here we go. Well, any woman can enter this match. It's an elimination match. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is something that we still have not addressed. Alexa Bliss has um, changed. She's become uh, different than herself, her normal self. Yeah, Alexa Bliss, uh, former women's champion, started off last year as the women's champion, held that title for about four months, and uh, since then, has not done too much, but we saw her a couple weeks ago, I don't remember who she faced, but she is here uh, with this new, let's just call it a new look. Don't really want to define her as a person. But if she can become the number one contender for the Women's Championship, I mean, my God. I don't know what to say, but that's the first woman in this match. we got seven more women that could possibly get in here. If this is who I think it is, is this Sonya Deville? It is Sonya Deville. Look at this. This would be an absolutely massive win for Sonya Deville. She has had pretty much zero chances to do anything in World Walk Entertainment ever. Uh, we Again, we have a very, you know, packed roster full of women and only one title. But Jaren, shouldn't you make another title for the women? Maybe. Maybe. I don't, you know, but it's going to be so long. <laughs> um... Sonya Deville has just not had that many opportunities. She, you know, she's had some appearances, sometimes in these qualifiers and Royal Rumbles and stuff like that. And Royal Rumble hasn't been able to get the job done, but this would be a huge opportunity for her. she getting some screen time. That's a good thing. Hey, and boy, oh boy, when you talk about somebody needing some kind of adrenaline boost, some momentum shift, how about Shotzi effing Blackheart, dude? She got absolutely washed, washed by Dakota Kai in the first round of the tournament that we had. She got clapped. Her cheeks clapped by Dakota Kai. I've never seen someone get dominated, get brutalized, pulverized the way Shotzi got brutalized and pulverized. It was, it was uncomfortable to watch almost. It was very, very bad. And I, oh man. Look, she desperately needs a W in her win book. Tonight could be the night. You never know. You never know. She got to outlast seven other women. Who are the women in this? I don't know. I've, I've noticed a pattern so far that uh, no woman in this match yet has really had a women's championship opportunity. Um, except for Alexa Bliss, who hasn't had an opportunity, I believe, since she lost the women's championship at Walker Mania. Uh, th at Walker Mania 3. Pardon me. Shotzi Blackheart. She still looks confident. I mean, it was a bad loss a couple weeks ago, but she is trying to work it out, and I respect that. She is she's pushing through. She's not giving up. You gotta you gotta have some kind of admiration for it. Oh hey, Bianca Belair, former women's champion herself, did not hold the title for too long. And she has not reached her full potential at all. I mean, I think she won the Women's Championship a little too early in her World Walker Entertainment career. But I know for a fact she is capable of having an amazing Women's Championship run. Of 
course, last night at Walker Mania Backlash, Liv Morgan retained the Women's Championship again. Only one championship changed hands, which is actually very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. Um, and it was the Intercontinental Championship, which is the only title that changed hands at Walker Mania this year as well. Everyone, the CWO, freaking Riddle, who's the current hardcore champion, AJ Styles, all successfully defending their championships. But one of these women could possibly put down Liv Morgan and take the championship away from her. I don't know. She's been pretty dominant. Who's next? Oh, yes. Asuka definitely needs... She doesn't need a win, necessarily. But she, you know, should definitely be in this match. She deserves a spot. She has not received the fair end of the stick this year. She was supposed to be the final entry in the Women's World Rumble match, and she wasn't. We gave her a Women's Championship match. That got interrupted by Britt Baker, and it got turned into a triple threat match. I don't even think Oscar was pinned in that match. Then she was entered in the Women's Championship number one contenders tournament, and unfortunately did not pick up the win there. It was a fair and square victory from Dakota Kai, but Oscar has just had chance after chance that's been honestly taken away from her, and I feel very, very bad. This is going to be a huge, huge deal if Oscar can... Uh, win this match. I'm excited for her. I'm rooting for her. I'm not, like, rooting for her. I don't care, but, like... <laughs> but it would be nice to see her win, you know? It would be very nice. Oh, man. All these women, powerful forces. Gotta be. Except maybe Shotzi Blackheart. She did get demolished in like five minutes. But everyone else, maybe except Sonya Deville as well, has really been proving themselves to be a top competitor here. Oh, boy. Well, again, this is another woman that won her first round match in the tournament not uh, that many weeks ago. And she did not successfully advance into that tournament last week. However, Carmella is here be a very 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 interesting scenario if Carmella were to become the number one contender for the women's championship and from Staten Island, New York, Carmella. I mean we could do a whole bunch of stuff like tournaments like you know you have, you have to win a certain amount of matches you know your record's got to be up no if you can beat the majority of the women in this company in a match you deserve a championship opportunity that's just fair Can she is the question. I don't know. Kamala's not a bad competitor. She's just been unlucky. <laughs> this would be a huge, huge win if she can get that job done. Who is? I don't even hear any music. Oh! Wait a minute. This is somebody that I know for a fact has so much potential. She kind of uh, had a weird moment a couple weeks ago in her tournament match against Carmella, actually, where she could have easily won, but did not go for her finisher. She didn't. I don't know why she didn't. She just chose not to. She fumbled the bag. Tonight, she can secure the bag, and I'm very excited. This is not a false camera match, I don't, I don't think. Is it? It might be. It probably is. It probably is. Well, we've been on for uh, nine minutes. It's been nothing but entrances, huh? Yikes. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I believe there's one more competitor, right? Who's the last woman to enter this matchup? She's taking a while to get out here. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, Bailey C 
since joining the CWO, has not lost a match. Has she? I don't think she has. She hasn't lost. She's beaten everybody that has done her wrong in 2021. Maybe that is over. Maybe that, that, that hit list has been completed. I can't even think of anybody else that she would need to go after to rectify the wrongdoings. But holy crap. Bailey is trying to go for the women's championship now. Trying to bring more, even more gold to the CWO. I will be amazed. That's going to be incredible. Bailey versus Liv Morgan. Can you imagine? Oh, man. I would not be surprised, though, if some of the women in this match try to team up on her. I would not be surprised at all. That's honestly something I can very much see happening. Oh, boy. Here we go. Well, the eight women in this match definitely all deserve to be here. You know what I mean? Whether it's they haven't gotten an opportunity in a while or they've just been smoking everybody that's come in their path uh, as of late. Bailey is trying to freaking make Io Shirai tap out, it looked like. I don't know what that was. Bailey off the ropes. And she got stopped. Okay. Bianca Belair. We're going to see a lot of camera cuts in this thing, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. It's honestly very hard to keep up with the action, but Sonya Deville... Bianca Belair fighting. Oh my god, Oscar and Alexa Bliss. Wait, Alexa, what is she doing on Oscar? Hold on! Knees to the gut of Oscar. Good lord. I have just seen nothing but but punches and freaking and kicks this whole match. It is insane. It's honestly very hard to call this action here. I'm just burping. I don't know if anyone heard that. But Io Shirai putting Sonya Deville on. I really want to see Io Shirai hit that moonsault, man. She, I think she tried it once in the match where she just refused to go for it. And it didn't pay off. She didn't get it. Which is unfortunate. But I'd really, really like to see her make up for that. And take a W. That'd be pretty cool. Shotzi rolls up to the outside of the ring. Asuka, hold on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oscar lock on Io Shirai. Alexa Bliss breaking it up. What was that about? What was that? Bianca Belair. Wait a minute. Look at Bailey. Up in the air. Oh my God. Drops her down. Io Shirai got pinned. I don't know. I don't even pay. I, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what she got hit with, but you know, whatever. Bailey with Shotzi Black on her grasp throws her out of the ring. And now everything is spilled to the outside here with these women. Is this false cut anywhere? I don't know. Oh, my God. An Oscar lock on Io Shirai again on the outside of the ring. This is ridiculous. This is apparently not false cut anywhere because Io Shirai is tapping, but that is, I guess it doesn't count. Alexa Bliss got hit with something kicked out as well. Io Shirai tapped to the Oscar lock and just didn't. It just Wait, what? So it did count. The referee was just too distracted with the other pinfall. Are you serious? Wait a minute, Rose Plant by Bailey on Shotzi Blacker on the outside of the ring. Are you gotta be kidding? Cover on Shotzi. Oh my god. Oscar hit Io Shirai with that Oscar uh, with that Oscar lock and, and she tapped. Io really should not be in this match anymore. The referee just wasn't paying any attention. Carmella with the cover on Alexa Bliss. What a fumble that was. Come on, ref. Carmella trying to square up to the referee. I'm not even shocked at that one. I would be too. Oh! Carmella! Oh, oh my god! Carmella's beating up the referee! What? You gotta be kidding. Wait, cover it by Oscar and Io Shirai. And oh man, I really did not want her to be the first one eliminated, but that sucks. Bailey cover on Shotzi Blackheart here and an immediate kick out. What? Carmella was putting in the hands on the referee, bro. That was insane. Referee took those shots like a champ, though. Oh, my God. Wait, Sonya Deville. Wait a minute. She got Bianca Belair hoisted up in the air. Oh, my God. And Bianca kicks out. Alexa Bliss. Twisted Bliss on Carmella. Referee, do your job. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. You take too effing long, ref. What are you doing? You take too effing long. 
I can't. I don't even know what's going on right now. Bailey and Shotzi still fighting. It's a three-way on the outside with freaking Sonya, Bianca, and, and Oscar. But it seems like Bianca's getting double teamed here a little bit. I don't know how. Oh, maybe not. Io Shirai is the only one that's been eliminated. That hurts my heart. That makes me sad. I really was hoping that she was going to be okay. But I guess I guess uh, it will just be another time for her, you know? It'll just be a different occasion. Shotzi working on Bailey here on the outside. Hold on a second. No way. That, no. Oh, Bailey kicked out immediately. This referee sucks. Oh, Sonya again with the cover. What is going on? Why is everyone kicking out so early? What the hell? Carmella is getting pinned. And okay. Well, there you go. Carmella has been eliminated. I don't understand why everyone was kicking out of one off of nothing. But wait. Oh, my God. Bailey with a bear in the belly. She's going in for the cover. Referee. Come on, ref, bro. Oh, Shopsy got eliminated. Wow. Well, that's a shame. But it's okay. Bailey. Oh, man. She's still in this match. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say, man. Oscar, Oscar lock on, on Alexa Bliss. Wait, what the is it? Uh oh. Oh no, I think. I think it's pin only. Oh no, I think it's pin only. I think you can only go for covers. Uh oh. No, Oscar keeps getting screwed, man. I'm sorry, Oscar. I don't mean it. Cover on Alexa. Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Bianca Belair. Can you do on Bailey? No. No. No way. Can you? What the hell? Referee. Can you imagine if Bailey gets eliminated? Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, that was a pretty impressive kick out there. I can't even lie. But, oh, no. Asuka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Asuka, man. I'm sorry. Oh, she keeps getting screwed, man. She, I feel so bad. Can she still do it? Oh, Alexa, Alexa's gone. We are down to four. I mean, I mean, she could just go for the cover off the Oscar lock, I guess. But I, I didn't really consider that. But which I guess is what she's been doing. Oscar with these strikes on Sonya Deville. We are down to four women. I cannot predict who's going to win this thing. I mean, the favorite, I have to believe, is Bailey, right? But Bailey got hit with a KOD on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Asuka. No, Asuka. I'm sorry. I feel so bad because she can't, she can't win off of this. And I didn't realize that that was the thing. Oh, man. Well, is Oscar going to go for the cover like... Oh, she is. Is that going to be enough to put Sonya Deville away? Oscar's had a, a two, what, two eliminations in this matchup? That's pretty impressive. Has not gotten a third, though. She was going for it on Sonya Deville. Only freaking four men have been eliminated. She got half of those eliminations. Are you kidding? Oh, Bailey went for the... Ba Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Wait. Bailey went for the belly to belly. No, Bianca went for the KOD. And Bailey... That would have been it. Bailey tried to go for the, her signature and it got blocked. Bro, if Bianca were to have hit that KOD, it would have been over. The mat, the, Bianca, Bailey would have been gone. That's insane. Wow. Well, the fight continues out of the ring. Referee's checking on everybody here. Wait, wait. Sony just got hit with a big knee. Oh, no. Don't go for the Oscar log, man. I'm going to feel so bad. Wait, what is she doing? Bailey's taunting. To Bianca Belair. Doesn't even... Oh, my God. Uh, completely escaped the attack from Asuka. Bailey's... Uh, what is she doing? What's going on here? Bailey with the freaking headlock locked in on Bianca Belair. Asuka is stalking Bailey for some reason. Sonya Deville trying to get around. What is going on? Wait a minute. Sonya Deville and Asuka both working to take Bailey out here. I mean, come on. And now we got Bianca Belair working on the leg. All three of these women are just trying to eliminate Bailey, and it's unfortunate. I mean, I, I don't blame them. 
Wait, oh, double team on Bianca now. What's going on here, dude? Sonya keeps throwing people into this freaking announce table. Huge reversal from Bailey. Man, oh, man. What a match this has been so far. Where is the referee? Okay, wait a minute. Rose Plant and also Bianca drops Asuka down. Double covers here. Sonya's gone. Sonya's gone, but is Asuka... Well, she kicks out. So there you go. <laughs> Bailey now. On Bianca Belair throws her into the steps. We are down to three, folks. One of these women is going to face Liv Morgan for the Women's Championship at Hell in a Cell inside Hell in a Cell as well. Bailey telling Asuka to watch the feet. But wait a minute. Bianca throwing Asuka, I was assuming, inside of the ring. But okay. Everyone gets sent back. And what is going on? Okay, Bailey just said to hell with that and just drops Asuka down on the floor. <laughs> Bailey with the elbow. Wait a minute. Bianca. Oh my god, the strength of Belair to even do something like this is insane, dude. What Sonya Deville is but I didn't even realize Sonya Deville is just chilling. Um I mean I no, I get it. Everyone getting back in the ring here. Maybe we can take some attention away from Sonya Deville. E <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that, but you know what? We'll work it out. Bailey taunting. I mean, again, oh, my God. No way. Wait, no way. Bailey, another rose plant. This is insane. Bailey is absolutely killing everybody with these finishers here. Wow. We are down to two, folks. Wait a minute. Really? Oscar with the Oscar lock, but oh, submissions aren't a thing in this match. Did Bailey tap? I think Bailey tapped because she knew she couldn't get out of it. But wait a minute. Is Asuka actually going to go for the cover? No way. No way. Oh, my God. Bailey knew exactly what she was doing, man. Oh, my God. She went for the hip attack. Bailey went for the bell. Asuka went for the hip attack. But Bailey. Oh, my God. Bailey hasn't even attempted to go for the freaking. Oh, my God. Rose plant on Asuka. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, Bailey has not even, since he's even joined the CWL, has not attempted to go for the women's championship. She hasn't been the women's champion. For like years, like before even World Walker came, it relaunched. I don't even know. I don't even remember if she ever held him. She, she probably has, probably, in like 2016, 17. Bailey is the number one contender for the women's championship. Dude, uh, Liv Morgan, your time might be up, kiddo. We got a hardcore championship match up next. It's Riddle's time up. We're gonna find out who's gonna answer the open challenge for that up next. Oh boy. Oh, uh, bro, my grandmother was a hooker. Is an extreme rules match. And it's for the Who is going to answer the challenge for the Hardcore Championship? Extreme Rules, here we go. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever Hardcore Champion making his debut in this new era of World Walker Entertainment. Ricochet, we have not seen him in months. Wow. Wow. Ricochet. The first ever hardcore champion. Making his return. Look at him. Look how great he looks. Ricochet is an absolute unbelievable athlete, but he's going to have to face probably a tougher challenge than the person that he, you know, lost the hardcore championship to in the first place, which is Riddle. Hey, Riddle's going to freaking enter this match. This is going to be Riddle's match in the span of 24, uh, third match in the, in the span of 24 hours. Is that detrimental 
to Riddle's health. Is there a possibility of Riddle suffering some kind of injury? I mean, not to mention, he went against Brock Lesnar for the Hardcore Championship last night. Not to mention, he then had a, a war, an absolute war with the Usos for the Tag Team Championship. That was, the, that was one of the best matches we've had in World Walk Entertainment, hands down. Hands down. It was unbelievable. I could not believe what I saw. Um, very, very, very pleased with, with that match. The question is, can Riddle overcome all that and retain the Hardcore Championship? I don't know, personally. We're going to go to the introductions. Here we go. Introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. And introducing the champion from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. He is the hardcore champion, Riddle. Man, oh man. Uh, Ricochet, the first ever hardcore champion. Riddle, the, mo the most recent one, obviously. Uh, but <laughs> here we go. Have we had any two time hardcore champ? Yes, we have. But Riddle goes for a right hand. Oh, and Ricochet, usually it's Riddle capping off or starting the match with an offensive attack. Oh, but it was Ricochet this time that kind of got the advantage. But it, and it looks like that might be continuing. It just had to, it was just a little delayed. Which, what, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Riddle into a submission hold already. Riddle's been the king of those for, in these hardcore championship matches. He has won every hardcore championship match by submission. But Ricochet not backing down. Got Riddle hoisted up on the shoulders. Oh my God, kind of like a GTS, but. Uh, inverted, I guess. Ricochet's got to keep the offense up. Oh, Riddle, that looked like it connected, but whatever. Riddle hoists. Oh, my God. Hoist Ricochet up. And Riddle trying to go for the quick cover. You know what? He went for a submission, and he went for a quick cover. I think there might be some signs of hurt, folks. I think there might be some sign that Riddle's had a little too much uh, to handle over the last couple days. I don't know. But Riddle on the apron. On the top rope now. We did a, freak, a freaking thing before, but now floating, bro. And Ricochet finally gets out of the way. Oh, and here we go. This is one of the mistakes I feel like he made against Pete Dunne when he lost the Hardcore Championship. Not going for a weapon, but oh, man. Crowd chanting for tables. Uh, you're not going to get him. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> man, oh, man. Riddle is... Absolutely, it's he's weirdly methodical when it comes to these matches because he does know. Uh oh, again, Riddle, Ricochet's got Riddle hoisted up. Oh my god! Oh, and we're gonna go to where we were trying to go before. Ricochet pulls out a sledgehammer. <laughs> Riddle, no, Riddle doesn't want any of that. Oh, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Riddle grabs the hammer. Oh no! Ricochet gets out of the way and oh. I mean, thank God he only took one of those shots, and Riddle gets out of the way of the springboard moonsault, man. Ricochet, he, he, well, a lot of his offense is from the sky, but it doesn't seem like he's going to get anywhere. But Riddle going to the sky as well on the top rope for the third time in a senton. Man. Oh, huge kick from Ricochet. And a huge moonsault with shooting star press, I think. And a kick out at one from Riddle. 
you know what? It's better than I've seen a lot of other people do. I mean, Ricochet is giving Riddle more of a fight than Brock Lesnar did. He's giving him more of a fight than Walter did, dude. Ricochet's hungry. He knows what it takes to become. Oh, oh my! He, did he did that connect? I guess so. He's got a Ricochet got the sledgehammer. Oh man! Sledgehammer shots. Oh, did do you hear the thud? Oh my god! How is Riddle okay? Riddle with a take that. How is he okay? Mind you, this is just, again third match. Oh well, there we go. Uh, hmm. Riddle with the elbows on Ricochet into a bro mission. This is how he's won literally every match previously. I don't know if Ricochet has what it takes to get out of this. He hasn't taken... Oh, no. He's fighting more and more and more. Oh, Riddle let go. Why? Riddle into the cover? No way. Not like this. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if it did end like that? Oh, oh boy. Well, uh, Ricochet, I don't know what to really tell you, but you buddy. I don't... Oh... Oh, Riddle with a bro Derek on Ricochet. Has Ricochet taken enough punishment to suffer a pinfall loss? No! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The sledgehammer's back in the play, though. Ricochet back up on his feet. Huge bicycle kick. I can't believe Ricochet's still in this match. Has a second win come into play. Oh, man. Oh, Ricochet going on the outside of the ring, but... Riddle gonna follow him. That was not a smart idea, Ricochet. Oh man. Riddle with Ricochet. Uh oh. What a counter. What a counter. Ricochet's in this to win this, baby. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Ricochet can become the hardcore champion? Oh. Oh. What is uh Riddle keeps missing. Ricochet didn't even grab a weapon. Are you kidding? Are you serious? He didn't even, he didn't even grab a weapon. <laughs> what a schmuck. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Here we go. We're, uh, I'm assuming taking it back into the ring. I'm assuming. Yeah. Riddle. Oh, man. He's still got that bro mission, though, man. It can be locked in at any moment. And when it is, that's it's pretty much it. That's pretty much game. Oh, my God. Riddle. Oh, my Lord. A, a huge freaking power bomb! Are you kidding me? Wait, Ricochet broke off something that Riddle was going for. What was it? What was he going for? I don't know, but Ricochet recoil! No way! Ricochet with a recoil on Riddle! No! Oh. oh man! What a freaking W that would have been! Wait, Ricochet on the top rope, six thirty. He got it! Oh my god! Cover on Riddle! The cover on Riddle! Referee in a position! Oh my god! How much... What else can can we can Ricochet even possibly do? He whipped out both of his finishers and that wasn't enough! This man Riddle is unstoppable! I can't believe that! Oh man! Ricochet! gets countered on top of the sledgehammer mind you man oh man counter after counter here ricochet still trying no way oh my god can ricochet somehow pull it off a cover no oh my god oh my god ricochet has come closer than anyone to beating riddle and he would be the last person honestly to i would expect can take this can can, can do it but Ricochet's laying in the shots with the sledgehammer. Oh. What a match. Can Ricochet do this? Riddle once again. Oh, my God. Ricochet gets out of the powerbomb position. Can he take advantage? Another bicycle kick. Riddle doesn't go down. Super kick blocked. Oh, man. Riddle's got Ricochet hoisted in his arms. Oh, man. I didn't think he was going to get there, but he got there. He got there, and here comes the sledgehammer. Oh, my Lord. Ricochet trying to reverse. He actually 
There's no super kick blocked by Riddle, man. Come on. What are we doing? Riddle. GTS. German suplex. Oh, my God. What a match this has been. Oh, are we going to end it? Oh, my God. Riddle's looking to end it. Riddle's looking to end it. Oh, my God. Bro, mission. And almost immediately, Ricochet taps out. Oh, my God. If Ricochet... If Ricochet would have gotten another move in, I think he would have done it. I, what a match. What a win or for Riddle, but what a freaking performance by Ricochet. That was incredible. Wow. My heart is bumping right now, dude. Bumping. Bumping, dude. That was that was good. I can't even lie. That was good. I mean, it sucks that Ricochet didn't get the win. I would have liked to see a little uh, redemption story for him. It's, you know, somewhat. But it is what it is. What a good match, though. We got the Intercontinental Champion in action up next against Shinsuke Nakamura. Huh. Just a little showcase match. Never know. Let's do it. Man, oh man, what a triple threat match it was last night at Walker Mania Backlash for the Intercontinental Championship. Edge has stepped into the arena, this time as the hardcore, not, never mind, Intercontinental Champion. Had a brain fart, it's okay, don't worry about it. Look at that. That title looks amazing on the around the waist of Edge. Randy Orton, he was looking to silence the critics, man. I was calling him a fluke champion, and I was defending him, but he did not win that match. Uh, oh. He actually got pinned in that match, but it did take a lot to beat him. It took, you know, two curb stomps, a pedigree, and an impaler DDT to get the job done. Randy Orton took a lot of punishment in the last, like, 60 seconds of the, of the triple threat match, but... He did take the pin. We don't do rematch clauses unless you earn them. Um, yeah. That's just what it is. That is just what it is. Edge looking forward to Hell in a Cell. I'm sure. Going to defend the Intercontinental Championship. But here comes Shinsuke Nakamura. And this is just a match, you know, for Edge to really showcase himself. He hasn't had too many one-on-one -on -one matches. You know, he had the one against Randy Orton. But, yeah. Why is it the announcer announcing them? Like, there's no, hey, from Kyoto, Japan. Shinsuke, not, there's none of that. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't said anything. Is he okay? Can we get a, a checkup on the announcer, please? I, I hope he's good. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. Is he on, vac is he on a break? Like, we are, we're live, dude. Did he just decide to take a vacation during this? He's literally not here. Where is he? Why is he not doing his job? You kidding me? By the way, I remember when I made, gave that spot fireworks and then WWE did it. Get off my back there, the Fed. What are we doing? That too. I did. I gave that pyro too. What are you going to take that idea next? Schmucks. Can Edge beat Shinsuke, can Shinsuke Nakamura, who has not really had a, a great career in World War II? I mean, he's, he's been cool. I've enjoyed having him here in the company. <laughs> but he hasn't, like, you know, done anything. Can, uh, can he beat the Intercontinental Champion? That'd be pretty huge. Edge with the, the strikes and the freaking... Uh, the kicks. Edge on the top rope. Nakamura's down. He's got to reverse this. Oh, Edge is calling for him to get up to his feet. Look at the balance that Edge has on that top rope. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> you can't write this stuff. You can't write this stuff, dude. What was that? Whatever. Nakamura taking advantage of the, the whatever just happened. 
Edge sweeping the leg of Nakamura. Drops the arm, and here we go. Just the assault continues. Nakamura running at it. Oh, but doesn't get it. What is going on? What's with the missed trajectory of everyone in this match? I don't get it. Back and forth here. Edge still taking advantage. Even though Nakamura counters a move, Edge just takes advantage. That doesn't make any sense to me. Covered by Edge. Why is Nakamura not putting in the work he needs? Uh, kick it at one. This seems like light work for the Rated R Superstar, dude. The Intercontinental Champion. I'm not, like, throwing him a layup. Shinsuke Nakamura is a fun competitor to watch, and he's, and he's very talented. But, you know, Edge has beaten the likes of a Randy Orton, you know. He, he, he almost beat Seth Rollins a couple weeks ago. He's the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, look at this. Edge already into a freaking crossface here. Nakamura is getting kind of taken to school by the Intercontinental Champion. Shinsuke gets out of the, the hold there. And here we go. Nakamura finally getting something going. But Edge gets sent to the outside of the ring. Okay. Don't know what that was or why Nakamura is not going after him. Well, there you go. <laughs> Don't know what that I think you just created some separation for the time being. Sends Edge back into the ring. And here comes a taunt. A, a taunt from Nakamura. That's... Oh my god! What what edge? Stop flying, bro. Stop going for dives. It, it has not worked out in this match at all. Don't stop going for him. Stop doing him. It is just not gonna work out. Nakamura gets Edge back into the ring. Can you imagine? I can't believe that. That one's funny. That was hilarious, actually. Edge coming back in this thing with the strikes. No, stop, Edge, stop. Please stop. Oh my, he actually hit it. I can't believe that. That is, wow. No way. Edge is going in for a sharpshooter here? Are you serious? Wow. No, not a sharpshooter. He's just going for something. Nakamura shakes him off. Edge is getting a little too cocky here. I don't, oh my God. Where did that even come from? Where did it come from? Okay, I mean, yeah, dude. Sure, man. That's decent. That's a decent match. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing to, to bark about. But, you know, solid. I enjoy, I enjoyed that match. That was a solid affair, dude. I mean, what a win for the Rated R Superstar. Uh, just, oh my god. That spear literally cut Shinsuke Nakamura in half. Like, you can't get much more ouch than that spear from Edge. My god. What an absolute W for the Intercontinental Champion, huh? What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Edge doesn't even realize. Wait a minute. Are you kidding? Roman Reigns has just run down to the ring and attacked the Intercontinental Champion. Why? Why? Reigns lost the WWE Championship match last night. And has attacked Edge. I, I mean, he can't get another opportunity for, you know, the the WWE Championship. Do you think maybe he's trying to go after the IC title once again? Oh, my God. Reigns has just attacked the Intercontinental Champion. Well, we're going to have to find out more about this the next week or something. We got the New Day versus the Swerve Offs. Yeah, let's do it. Man, I, uh, I'm i very excited for this match. The Swerve Off. We haven't seen the Swerve Offs in a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm very excited to see it. We're already playing the music, huh? Wow, okay. Oh, no. Big E. Bi Why do they treat him like he's just a regular manager? Why don't they all just come in together the New Day with Big E? That hurts my heart. That just hurt my feelings. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I mean, okay, sure, that's fine. The New Day, uh, we haven't seen them in tag team action in a little while. It's been it's been a pretty decent amount of time since we've seen them compete. But tonight, they are going against the freaking Swerve Offs, a brand new tag team on the scene in World Walk Entertainment. They have uh, picked up some very impressive matches. They lost, I think, the last match that they were in. I believe it was against the Uso. 
I don't remember. But uh, it's a new tag team. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. You know, we do need competitors for the tag team championship. I cannot believe Bailey is the number one contender for the women's championship. If she can you imagine if she wins, if she beats Liv Morgan, then the CWO will only have to have the Intercontinental Championship and they'll have every title in the company. That's insane to me. I'm not just going to hand them an opportunity, but I mean, Bailey just earned it. Here come the swerve offs, and these two have been absolutely on fire. This is just a regular tag team match, I believe. But these two have been on fire, dude. Despite them not winning their most previous match, they have been an absolute force to be reckoned with. They have brutal, brutal matches and really good chemistry together. I've very much been enjoying Ziggler and uh, Swerve's team. The Swerve Offs, dude. It's, it's exciting. I love it. Here we go. All right, this is again. This, this is a regular tag team match, I think. Crowd already chanting for Swerve. We're starting over Kofi and Swerve. Nice. Here we go. Biggie gonna sit on the outside as a manager here. Swerve goes for a kick, and not nobody hits anything. What was that about? Nobody hit literally anything for a while there. Oh, what? Look at the range that Kofi had just now. What was that about? He went flying. Honestly, you know, the Swerve Offs will be... Wow, how about a taste your own medicine there, Kingston? Jeez. Um, the Swerve Offs will be fine, win or lose. Obviously, they want to win this match, and, uh, and winning this match will be huge for their you know future as a tag team. But the New Day has really not had much of anything. They entered this... Uh, oh, my God. This new era of World Walk Entertainment as the tag team champions. Uh, not the new era, sorry. When we relaunched World Walker Entertainment in January of last year, they were the tag team champions. They lost them in their first title defense, and since then, we have not had the New Day capture any type of gold at all. I don't think any member of the New Day has held a championship. Am I not even like the hardcore title? I don't think. I could be wrong. Wood's getting a little uh, toyed with there. And Swerve literally just waited for Xavier to get back into the ring. And oh my god, Swerve on his own is absolutely taking the New Day to school. I mean, this is a showcase not only of the Swerve Offs and how just them individually can do this, but freaking... Uh-oh. Swerve on the top rope. Wood's getting up to his feet. Swerve. Oh my god! But this is a, a showcase of how Swerve can just do all of this on his own. This is kind of insane, dude. Covered by Swerve on Xavier Woods. A, a two count? Are you kidding me? An effing two count? So that was light work for Swerve. My God. Here comes Ziggler back into things. I don't know what he was going for there, but Woods with a side rush and leg sweep. And tags in Kofi Kingston. Kingston back into this ring. Frequent tags there, but honestly, they've had a total offensive move of one between the both of them. Ziggler and Swerve are absolutely taking these two to freaking church here, man. Putting the fear of God in them. I can't believe that. Look at this. I mean, together they work well, you know. We've seen them in Tornado Tag Team matches. All that other stuff. But in regular tag team competition, it just seems like they are on a different level as well. There's no stopping them. Kingston, I think he's looking for a tag out. Oh, man, he couldn't get it. He couldn't even make his way around Ziggler's body, dude. Lack of coordination there. It's been a couple weeks. It's been it's been a while since we've seen, you know, the New Day compete, really. Um, That's not true, actually. But, yeah. And don't get it twisted, folks. All three members of the New Day are in the New Day. All three of these freaking guys. All of them. Not just two. I, it smells like something is on fire in my house. And that's not good. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to pause everything. Hold, hold on. All right, it was nothing. I was just smelling stuff. In comes Xavier Woods. And here we go. Woods with a freaking bulldog there on Swerve. 
All right. Wait, Kofi, what? Uh, <laughs> Swerve got busted open by one forearm. Wait a minute, what is happening? What? Planning Swerve? No way. Are, what is going on? Yeah, Swerve kicks out, but like, I, why? What is? Ha when did the New Day get all of this offense going? Are we? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way, that's it, right? There's no way that that's it. What's dragging Swerve into the cover? I mean, is Ziggler gonna break this thing up? Yeah, he does. Thankfully. I mean, what was that? Oh, oh, Ziggler gets sent to the outside. Oh my God, Swerve! This match has turned around completely, and I don't understand how. Oh my God. The New Day has shown some aggression here. I like it. Oh my, no way. On the top rope, Woods. Uh, I don't know if he's looking in the right direction. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Wait, what? Swerve going after Big E here. What is that? Just kicked him. What was the, what was the reason for that? That was unnecessary. That wasn't, that wasn't cool. Well, look at this. What are we doing? Biggie did nothing to you. He wasn't even... Oh, man. Biggie didn't deserve that. But Swerve, he's angry. It looks like he's, uh, like, upset. Oh, my God. Biggie can't do anything about it except watch. Oh, my God. Swerve going to get back into the ring. You got to be kidding. Wood's going to get back in the ring now. What, what, we're playing a little ring tag, are we? Is that what's going on? Okay. Was, is he going after Big E again? No, he's not. He's getting back into the ring. What are we doing? Oh, my God. Kingston went for, <laughs> Swerve went to, no way. Oh, my God. And where is Dolph Ziggler? He's trying to claw, crawl over to him. Oh, my God. He can't get there. This is kind of insane. This is kind of crazy, dude. Swerve might be in trouble. He's not been able to make a tag to Ziggler, and he is not getting in his corner anytime soon either. Oh, my God. Maybe he can, though. Oh, my God. Swerve with kicks it up on the shoulders. No way. No way. What is this? Swerve. Oh, my God. Oh, Kingston kicks out at two. Swerve can't believe I can't believe it. Crowd chanting for tag team wrestling. I think we might get Ziggler back in this thing. Maybe not. Oh, Kingston gets out of the corner. I guess we're not going to see a tag. All right, that's fine. Swerve gets sent into the corner of the New Day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Swerve's been in this match for a while. Isaiah Swerve, Scott, he's been in this thing for a long time. Ziggler kind of desperately does need a tag in. <laughs> Ziggler just swiping at the back of Kofi Kingston just for fun. This is a little ridiculous. Incense. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Swerve. Oh, my God. Basement back kick. I mean, Woods is standing right there. Why isn't Ziggler going to defend it? I don't understand that one. But that's cool, I guess. Woods getting sent to the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Getting set right to the outside. Jumping clothesline there to swerve. Oh, my God. Trouble in paradise. No way. Ziggler's got to come break this up. And he does. Man, oh, man. Ziggler didn't even attempt to go after Kingston after that happened. Man, oh, man. Swerve is... He's, he's got to tag out. He's got to tag out like now. I don't understand why he's not doing it. He's trying to make a, prove a point or something. Kingston not letting it happen in the clothesline. Oh, dude. Woods gets tagged in, but so does Ziggler. Uh, Swerve's got to roll to the outside. What a match this turned out to be between these guys. As Ziggler goes face first into the corner. I mean, Ziggler is, I believe, the freshest man in this match. You'd have to think so, right? You'd have to think so. 
Look at this. Oh, my God. That is a technical wrestling uh, experience there on the part of Dolph Ziggler. On the top rope. Now, what does he do? He's calling for his wood to get up. This has not worked out too much uh, lately. but And he was too far. So that's fun. <laughs> Woods. Oh, man, with a neck breaker. And Ziggler shakes off Woods. What is he going for here? Irish whip. Pulls him back. A huge scoop slam. Man. Into a cover as well. A kick out at one. That was disrespectful. Wow. He kicked out at one. And a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, but... Oh, Ziggler still caught the kick. I, that was pretty impressive. No, you're not getting a tag in Kingston anytime soon. He was asking for it. He didn't get it. Uh-oh. Ziggler with the three elbows. Biggie has just been able to... I, I mean, I feel so bad. Biggie got attacked. Is it really a smart idea to tag in Scott again? Why would you do that? I feel like that's not smart. But, oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. I mean, referee. Oh, my... I mean... Apparently, it's not any concern of Kofi Kingston's because, I mean, whatever. Oh, dude, another one. But this is right in front of Kingston. This is not going to end this way. There's no chance. Kingston going to break it up. Ziggler's got to be quicker than that one, dude. He's got to be way quicker than that. Kingston gets sent to the, to the nothing. Oh, man. Huge knee, and Kingston actually rolls to the outside. Wow. Wood sent to the corner. Kingston might be... New Day might be in trouble here, folks. Wood's still fighting on his own. Even though it's freaking two-on-one. Cover and a kick out. Wow. I mean, no way. No way. No way the New Day gets this, right? You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding me. What is that? The honor roll lost in the woods? What do you call him? Ziggler's too busy paying attention. To Kofi Kingston. There you go. He's going to have to come in and break this up. I believe he's going to. I mean, he's the only one in the corner that can. Are you... What? <laughs> I think Ziggler thought Swerve was going to kick out. That must have been what, ha what happened because he just stood there. Are you kidding? Wow, what a win for the New Day, man. Swerve off, swerve offs with another loss on their on their books. That's not good for him. They got some working out to do, man. Wow. All right. Main event time. Oh god. Let's just let's just get it over with. Well, slap me in the in the mush and call me John Cena. Uh oh man. I don't I have to contractually book him for things. Because he's on the roster. But I do not want to. Because he keeps losing. And he always complains. That he doesn't get opportunities. Even though he, no he does nothing but lose matches. Where is the announcer? This is ridiculous. This announcer is just taking a day off for some reason. I, it makes it, 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 it's angering me. John Cena comes out to the delight of absolutely nobody. Someone who has not won a match in, like, what, since August? Right? No. Sorry. Since January. If that makes it any better for anybody. I mean, my God. <laughs> he comes out here week after week saying, I don't give him opportunities. The nerve of this guy. He sucks. He can't win. He doesn't win match. He had an opportunity. This is a rematch, by the way. What we're about to see is a rematch from the Royal Rumble of this year. AJ Styles versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. It happened at the Royal Rumble. Oh, who won that match? Well, guess who freaking won that match? 
Who's still wearing the WWE Championship? Oh, yeah. This guy, the man who put away Roman Reigns in a, a crazy match last night. That was ins I was very, very pleased with that match. That was impressive. Very impressive. But now the question is, has Cena gotten somehow back? I don't understand how he would. Don't think that's the case. But uh, we're going to find out. Let's, we, you know, we always got to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Cena is a former WWE champion. He is. He's a former Intercontinental champion. I can't take that away from him. I, I, as much as I would like to take that away from him, I cannot. <laughs> I just simply can't. I'm sure AJ Styles is proud of his faction. In, in a month's time, they could all be wearing championship gold. Can you imagine? Man. That would be absolutely incredible. John Cena, AJ Styles, rematch from the Royal Rumble, non-title match, but we're going to see if Cena's got something in the tank here. Last time we saw him was the night after Walker Mania, where he uh, attempted to take the Intercontinental Championship off of Randy Orton, and thank the Lord that, that didn't happen. Cena's actually doing well on AJ Styles. I don't know how to... Okay. Ooh, I don't know how to feel about that one, but... It looks like Styles might have gotten... Whoa, oh my God. Does, uh, does that... Cena's folded inside out. That was kind of insane. No way. We're already going for submission. AJ does not take Cena seriously at all. But again, for a lot of these guys, this is, you know, uh, a match right after they already had a match the previous night. Styles catching Cena. Whoa. Oh, my God. You're lucky Styles wants to delay this beatdown because that could have been a Styles class right there. My God. You know, Riddle competed three times in 24 hours. AJ Styles had a freaking insane match with Roman Reigns last night. Um, you know, Bailey also competed in the Steel Cage match. We don't have to talk about that. Uh, you know what I mean? This is pretty back and forth here. I can't even lie. Uh, do I have any hope that John Cena is going to win this match? Absolutely not. None whatsoever. Zilch. Nada. Ding dong. Nothing. Uh, Cena on the top rope Calling for AJ Styles to get up to his feet here Oh boy Cena with a cross body Oh my god What? what do, I don't know I don't know how to feel about this Styles is kind of getting uh, Worked over by John Cena here A cover Please god Please AJ Okay Dude it's 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 it, I, I just don't want to see Cena succeed I don't I can't have it happen I, it, I, it can't happen no. 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 Oh my god. John Cena. Oh my god. Thank God. Okay. Uh I was I almost thought John Cena was going to pin the WWE champion. Which is not ideal. No. No. Cena with a with a submission hold on Styles. Oh, Styles getting out of it pretty relatively quickly there. My God. Okay. I mean, sure. Cena's had his fun. And now it's time for the WWE Champion to put some effing work in and get this thing going. Oh, man. Cena on the... He's getting up to his feet. Styles, phenomenal forearm. Picture perfect phenomenal form as well. Into the cover. Okay. Well. Um. Oh, we're going for another one. No, it's a 450, but Cena. Oh, Cena, get out. Oh, my God. Cena went for the AA, and Styles blocked it. Styles blocked it. Uh, you know what? I He's gotten close. It got a little too close. <laughs> Styles. With Cena in his grasp. Oh, man. What? What is this? Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins? What is that about? 
Seth Rollins' music is playing on, on the loudspeaker. What? Oh my god. Oh my god! Seth Rollins! Sits Seth Rollins behind him with a steel chair! He actually tried to go for a freaking... A shot... With the steel chair! This is ridiculous! Wait, Styles... It puts Rollins in the tree of... John Cena is taking this opportunity. And the match has been thrown out. Uh, so that means Styles wins, I guess. <laughs> Why is Seth Rollins attacking AJ Styles? It looks like Rollins wants an opportunity at the WWE Championship. I don't like that. I mean, what about Cena? I mean, to be fair, Cena was doing... Well, I don't know what to say about this. Rollins wants AJ Styles. I'm not going to hand him an opportunity, so this is what we're going to do. Next week, Seth Rollins, John Cena. We're going to see how the match plays out, but I don't know if I want to say it's a number one contenders match. We'll see. We'll see next week. That's going to do it. I can't believe the match has been thrown out. Now I can't definitively say that John Cena would have lost because I don't know. And that makes me sad. We'll see you next week, I guess. <laughs>